hello guys welcome to today's video and i'm trust and this is a ts tech talk video so on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to make use of um google research um youtube research so i'm going to enter studio.com so that i'll be able to show you guys how to make use of youtube research so um what youtube research is um actually a place where you can get video ideas or you can see what um your viewers are searching for and you can do a lot of things on that particular YouTube research section. So this is just like getting video idea from vidIQ also. But then this is actually um, a tool released by YouTube and even in a better way that you can understand, self-explanated and very easy to understand. So let's wait for our studio to load up and you are going to get to see what I mean. Now, if you are on this area, on the dashboard area, notice your left hand area scroll down a little bit until you see um where it's written uh, content sorry analytics click on analytics and it's going to display the analytics section of your channel so wait for it to load up it might take a while all right guys once you are here you are going to notice where it is written research so go ahead and click on research icon or the research link and it's going to bring you to this area so you notice this is search across youtube now you can see all of the search topic across youtube but all you need to do is to type in that particular search here so i'm going to hit type and then i'm going to type in play to in and then i'm going to hit enter so it's going to give me result of all the searched video relating to what i just searched now you can notice it says um play game and earn money, play game and earn money, play to earn. So there are so many things in the results and you can pay attention to them. Decide to make video on them and you can make video on them and get a lot of views from them. So then if you want to actually niche down to your particular content, all you need to do is to come over to this area where it says your viewer search and it's going to display some information right here. But the reason why it's not displaying the information right here is because um on this particular channel, I do not have a lot of data or a lot of results to actually give me those um such uh those youtube or the such as my viewers have made so um but you can get it on this particular channel this is ts tech talk channel so if i click on your viewer searches you can see everything my viewers have searched and the reason why it's giving me this result is because on this particular channel i have 12k views within 48 hours so on the other channel i don't even have up to 2000 view within 48 hours so i think that is the difference that's the reason why i don't get those results so you can now see this is what my users the people that have viewed my video are searching for you can notice the title right there your viewers searches so the people that have viewed my video this is actually what they searched for and the all results are here and if you pay attention to it wherever you see content gap it actually means that um, people are searching for this video and they cannot find it. Now you can notice it says viewer can't find any results for their searches, which means they are looking for how to delete their Facebook account and they can't find the result. This means if I make this particular video, this audience are going to come find this video and they will be able to watch it. And you can see even more information right there. Viewers can't find the exact match for their search. Viewers can't find the exact match for their search. But guys the joke is actually because most of the times um uh all these social media they actually change so it's not as if this particular information is not online or it's not as if people have not created the video people have created the video and they are online but now the reason why people are not actually getting it is because um people search for it and the results that is coming out for them is not exactly what they have seen so when the result is not what they have seen as in the result, it, they, they try the result, they practicalize it, and it did not give them the appropriate answer because after watching the video, they still are not able to um, get their account deleted or delete their account. So they keep on searching. So that's the reason why I get that particular information that there is a content gap on that video. This one is a year ago, so I think it's actually unique. This is one, one month ago, and you can see how many views the person gets, but it's actually deactivation, but not delete. Delete is actually different from deactivation. And this person made this video 10 months ago, and you can see how much view they got. So I think if I'm able to make this kind of video, I'll also be able to get a lot of view from it. But then 
tell me guys what do you think about this youtube search um research option and then um the vidiq keyword which one do you think is better but a lot of people think this is actually better and then guys actually a hint after youtube re released this particular option or this particular feature vidiq decided to monetize their channel before it was not monetized but after um youtube released this particular feature they end up monetizing their channel i'm not saying anything do just um decide on your own so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope it's helpful if it is don't forget to smash like and, su uh, and subscribe to the channel for more i will see you guys on my next video please stay safe and peace